to this week's edition of the Saturday Showdown. I am holding the mic the wrong way round. And before we get into any action, if you are new here, please just go down and hit that subscribe button. Keep up to date with all the action here at NFHW. Yes, we are 24 hours away from episode 20 and we have got some top, top matches for you this evening. So without further delay, we're going to head down to ringside and join a match already in progress. As Ravishing Rita is taking on Sonia Deville. Rita just suplexing Sonia there. Not seen Rita or Sonia Deville for a while. Oh, a lovely fisherman buster by Rita. Rita going up to the top rope. Waiting for Deville to get back up to her feet. And a big double axe handle off the top. And a big clothesline takes Sonya out of the ring. Referee has that count going. Rita going up to the top rope. Big elbow drop to the outside. That is going to cause some damage to Sonya Deville. Of course, Sonya Deville, a former Wednesday Night War winner. And speaking of the Wednesday Night Wars, they will be back this Wednesday for season six, which is the biggest season we've ever done. There's going to be 16 wrestlers in each, each of the men's and the women's. So that is going to be an awesome event. And speaking of that, we will find out who will be joining them from the main roster tomorrow as we have both the triple threat relegation matches for the men and the women on episode 20. Referee with that count going, Rita back out, breaking the count. Sonia Deville in trouble, she taps on the outside. Of course you can't win a match on the outside. Oh, oh Sonia Deville lands on her feet, but can't capitalize this time. She lands on her head. And that is not a good way to be landing. There's both women on the outside. Sonia Deville catches Rita. Turns her through for that triangle choke. Rita nowhere to go. Oh, but Rita just punching her way out of it. Referee up to a five count. To a six as Rita sends Sonia into the barrier. Seven. Sonia Deville needs to get in that ring and she needs to get in there quick. Sonia Deville not moving. Nine count. Can she get in before the ten? No, she can't. Ravishing Rita picking up the victory here tonight over Sonia Deville. But now we are going to head down to ringside as the Rising Phoenix champion is in action. And we will join that match in progress. Yes, Edith in action against Gigi. Or Gigi, I really don't know how you can... Whoa, what's this? Yuri Minto. Yuri Minto's music is hitting here. Edith taking her eyes off of Gigi. Oh, Yuri Minto in the ring with a steel chair. Cracking Edith over the head. How did Larry not see that? But Edith is down. Gigi just crawling over. Gigi doesn't know where she's going. Taking her time to get over to Edith. Edith already back up. But please let me know down in the comments. Is it Gigi or is it Gigi? I've never seen her in WWE, so I don't know how to pronounce her name. But speaking of Yuri Minto and Edith, they are signed in a Hell in a Cell match tomorrow at episode 20. Where the rising... Oh, Edith just missing that plancher over the top rope. But anyway, as I was saying, they are signed in a match where the Rising Phoenix title will be on the line. Edith now going to work on the arm of Gigi. Maybe if I say it both ways, alternating, half of them will be right. Oh, there's a 
the sleeper hold. Edith with that sleeper hold cinched in. Gigi manages to find her way out. Oh, avoids that attack by Edith there. Gigi taking the arm, flipping Edith over with a big kick to the back. Referee up to a seven count, but both women back in the ring. As Edith sends, oh, reverses, hits that shoulder tackle on Gigi. Edith going up to the top rope. Just waiting for Gigi to get back up to her feet. And a big drop kick connects, takes her down into the cover. Oh, just a two tap count. Gigi's kicking out before three. There's Edith looking for that figure four. She's got it locked in. And there's that bridge, putting extra pressure on the legs of Gigi. Edith going back to the leg again. Single leg Boston Crab. Oh, but Gigi quickly finds a way out. And now with an abdominal strength. Oh, what a manoeuvre into the pin. But just a one count, Edith kicking out with authority. Both women back up. Edith in control, launching Gigi across the ring. Edith to that top rope. Big elbow drop, but misses. As Gigi on the attack here. Snapmare takeover and a big drop kick to the face. Edith realizing she's too close to the ropes. Looking for that figure four again, I think. Yeah, there it is. Figure four cinched in. Can she get the submission? But Gigi being resilient here. And a big elbow, though, from the middle rope. Oh, those handstand knees driven into the midsection. There's the cover. And that is going to be it. So despite the interference there by Yuri Minto, Edith still managing to pick up the victory and that is just going to add fuel onto the fire ahead of their Hell in a Cell match tomorrow. But now we have got tag team action as the Brothers of Destruction, The Undertaker and Kane are taking on the Bushwhackers. So we're going to join this match already in progress. As Undertaker Kane whipping, I believe that might be Butch, into that double back, double back toss. And the Undertaker now just pounded away. Is that Butch or is that Luke? It's hard to tell. I believe it's actually Luke, who's, who's sported a very, very glitchy hairstyle today. Trust me when I say that's not normally what his hair looks like. But he pressed the glitch function. Function. And now he's gone for that spotty hair look. There's a bulldog. Luke with the cover. Undertaker coming in, breaking up that pin. And speaking of tag teams, tomorrow at episode 20, we have got a four a four team. So that's eight men. Tornado tag match for the NFHW titles. And one of these two teams will be in there. Whoever is victorious here tonight. But will that be the Bushwhackers or will it be the Brothers of Destruction? As Butch hitting that DDT on Kane. But taking his eyes off Kane. And there's a tag to The Undertaker. But Butch catches him. Big uppercut. Drops The Undertaker. 
That is impressive stuff there by Butch. Undertaker gets him up, looking for that tombstone. There it is, tombstone pile driver. Butch is out. And a cover. But Luke breaking up the pin. And Kane ejecting him from the ring. The Undertaker going back on the assault. Driving Butch's head into the canvas. As Kane is just fighting on the outside. Oh, a big bulldog by Butch. There's a cover. And that is going to be it. The Bushwhackers. The Bushwhackers picking up the victory here over The Undertaker and Kane. And what an upset that is going to be. But they have found their way into that tornado tag tomorrow at episode 20. But we have still got more matches for you here tonight. So we're going to head down to ringside and join this match between the NFHW champion Doug Williams in a non-title matchup against Macho Man Randy Savage. Of course, Doug Williams in action tomorrow. He is taking on Kieran Donnelly for the Ascension title and that also will be taking place inside the Hell in the Cell structure. I mean, we've paid money to get the Hell in the Cell structure down there, so damn right we're going to be using it more than once. Williams going up to that top rope, but Savage already getting back up. Savage sees him, oh, Williams overshoots. Savage ducked underneath that attack. Savage taking Williams into the corner. Oh, Williams blocking. Williams blocking. But that seemed to take all the energy out of him and he just collapsed as he walked out. Big body slam by the Macho Man into a cover. Just a two count. Savage moments away from pinning the NFHW champion. And you've got to believe if Savage gets the win here tonight, that is going to shoot him up the rankings for a potential title shot in the future. Oh, Savage. But Doug Williams fighting out. And a big clothesline. Take Savage down. Williams ducks on underneath. Big backdrop. And a spine buster. Williams building momentum here. On to the Macho Man. Macho Man, though, quickly turning the tables with a beautiful little spin kick. Now Savage up to that top rope where he is so deadly. Looking for that elbow, but misses. Doug Williams out of the way. Williams sends Savage off the rope. Another big backdrop, body drop. Macho Man lucky to land in the ring there. As Williams. Oh, what a maneuver with those knees. Catches Savage. Savage now pulling himself up in that corner. Oh, we're looking for that Chaos Theory. Here it comes. Chaos Theory connects into the pin. But just a two count. Savage somehow kicking out before the three. And now Williams up to that top rope. Is he looking for that knee drop? No, goes for an elbow of his own, but Savage out the way. Savage sending Williams off the rope. Sucks underneath. And a big back elbow, but blocked by Williams. Williams catches a few shots on Savage. Double underhook into that power bomb. And once again, Williams going up to the top. And there's that knee from the top rope. Williams now taking Savage over to the corner. Is he looking for that chaos theory again? I think he might be. Here it comes. 
Chaos Theory, it connects! And there we go, Doug Williams! Doug Williams picking up the victory here over the macho man, Randy Savage. And what an impressive victory that is going into episode 20 where he is facing Kieran Donnelly. But now it is time for the penultimate match and we have got the whole match for you this time. So let on head us down to ringside as the Earl of Excellence is taking on MVP. And speaking of the Earl of Excellence, he has got double duty tomorrow at episode 20. Not only is he signed, he was already signed to take on Fentos inside a steel cage. But unfortunately for the Earl of Excellence, with his win-loss record percentage, he has found himself in that relegation triple threat match where he will be joined with Pete Dunne and Drew Tainton, where the loser will head on down to the war zone on the Wednesday Night Wars and the winner will get a shot at the Ascension title in a triple threat match with Trent Seven who won the Wednesday Night Wars last Wednesday. Earl of Excellence going up to that top rope. You see the Duke of Danger on the outside. Big knee drop from the top. Cover on MVP. Just a two count. MVP not being able to get going yet. Earl of Excellence has been dominating this match so far. Oh, big kick to the midsection. MVP. Going that double underhook suplex, but with, but blocked by by the Earl. He just drops him into the corner. Drops that knee across the arm of MVP. There's a cover. And that is going to be it. The Earl of Excellence picking up the victory and pretty quickly here tonight. So we will be seeing him in action tomorrow, not once, but twice. But now it's time for our main event as the British Bulldog is going to be taking on Cactus Jack ahead of their Fools Count Anywhere match tomorrow. The Bulldog already in the ring. Oh, Cactus Jack with guacamole. Of course, Salsa made his way down to the ring during one of their encounters between the Bulldog and Cactus Jack. But Cactus Jack trying to get in the head of Davy Boy. And both men, the bell hasn't even gone yet. Oh, both men shoving the referee. You can't do that. The referee has disqualified both men. So this is a no contest. I mean, the referee, Larry, doing what he had to do there. You can't go putting your hands on the officials deliberately here in NFHW. So this match is not going to get going. But that doesn't seem to be stopping Davy Boy and Cactus Jack, who just hate each other. They're trying to inflict as much damage on each other as they can ahead of their Fool's Count Anywhere match tomorrow. And we need to get some guys in there. We need to stop this. This is not a match anymore. This is just assault. As Cactus Jack just choking the life out of Davy Boy Smith. And there is nothing that the referee can do. He's already disqualified both men. We need to get security down there to separate these two. As they've taken the brawl in to the outside and just sending British Bulldog into that announce table. We need to get control here. Can we get some security down? We need to break this up. But unfortunately, we are running out of time here on NFHW. And we're going to have to say that is going to be it for this episode. 
We will get these two broken up very, very soon. But rest assured, they will both be in action tomorrow at episode 20. But until then, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all the action here at NFHW.